Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Hopefully you've just watched the joy of pouring with Cy Frost. If you happen to miss it, I'll leave a link in the description. That way you can go back and watch it at your leisure. Well, today what I thought we'd do is a couple of blooms. Now, what I've done is thin down five different colours that I would usually use for... Um, doing a bloom with so what I've done is grab five colors I've thinned them down with Joe Sonia and water which was roughly three to one so that's the consistency of the paint now leaves a little bit of a mound but nothing overboard maybe one second and it disappears and what I've done is did a little drip test so that oops, spilled it so that they're all the same consistency okay so nice and close so what we're going to do is do a bloom with those compared to the same colors just thicker and see what the results will be. All right, so I'll take you over to the spinner box and we'll have a bit of a play. Okay, what I've done is put some pillowed paint down. I like to spin mine out a little bit. What we'll do is get those thinned out colors and start putting them down for a bloom. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you the consistency, if I can. of that compared to the way I usually have it so that's quite thick the other one is notably thinner so we'll throw some thin colours down and then we'll do the exact same bloom with thicker colours. So. We'll put the pink down. Dripping it everywhere. Um, we'll go some green some purple Blue. And then we'll top it off with some lighter green. Where is it? There it is. So as you can see, that's quite thin. Well, it just drizzles off the stick. Grab some cell activator, which is Amsterdam Lamp Black. Put some of that down. Okay, we'll grab the mini blower. battery wasn't flat it would be good I just swapped the battery over hang on a sec ok 
Okay. And we'll blow that out. bit of a blow in the center Okay, so as you can see, it still sells up quite nice. So what we'll do is we'll give that a spin. Crazy. Okay, so pop that one up. Still looks really cool. You can see where the white is coming through, and also where the cells are, the black. Cell activator is sunk straight through it. So you lose a lot of your cells. Still looks super cool, but you notice your colours tend to mud more as well, like through there with thinner colors. So what we'll do is grab another round. I'll um, put the same colors down, but only thicker this time and see what result we get by doing thicker colors. Same pillow paint, I'll spin it out the same. The only difference is the consistency of the colors. Dokey. Pillow paint spun out. We'll grab the pink. Just quite a bit thicker. Hell of a lot thicker, really. 
Um, the purple. So, as you can see, that's a lot thicker. And light green. So, grab the selector beta. We'll give that a couple of seconds, seeing as um, I changed the battery on the last one. So I'll pop some bubbles while we're waiting. Make it a little bit more fair. Alright, we'll grab a little mini blower. Give it a blow. Same with this one, I'll blow the center out a bit. Cells tend to look a lot nicer when your colours are thicker. Screw the centre as usual. Oops. These things happen. So I had a bit of a reckon. Might as well do that to the center too. Why not? All right. So we'll give this one a bit of a spin. I think I got carried away with the blower, but doesn't matter. Throw that one down. Put it in the middle. Don't have to spin like crazy, just get the paint moving.
Okay, so we'll pop that one up. And see just how more defined the cells are. Just from making those colours a little bit thicker. You know, the only parts there, and that's where I screwed up with the blower. So, and there. Oops. These things happen. Always on camera, too. Have you noticed that? Okay. So, what I'll do is, I'll put that there. We'll grab the other one. To show the difference so that's that one that's the thin one see how all the cells are washed right out as the cell activator sank compared to that one So just by having thicker colours, you get better jelly beans like that. Heaps better cells compared to that one. Yeah, I just touched that. You goose. Doesn't matter. This one's a scraper anyway. So that's your difference between that and that. Just on the consistency of your paint alone. Nothing else is different, just how thick your colours are. So paste, have a bit of a mess around with your consistency of your colours. Because if you've got stuff like that, your colours are too thin. I mean, not that it really matters. I mean, it's still a really cool effect and what have you, but... Me, personally, I prefer crazy cells compared to washed out, muddy sort of colour. So, there's the difference. So, if you're having results like that, just try thickening your colours up a little. And theoretically, you should get cells like that. Just by changing the consistency of your paint. And that's all we've done. Change consistency. Nothing else. So, we have gone from... Let's say this blue. Which is quite runny. Hardly leaves a trace. Maybe half a second, one second, if that. To... This one. Where it's a good three seconds easy, maybe four. Definitely worth having to play with. Just play with consistencies. 
see what um, difference it makes for you because we're all using different pouring mediums and things like that. But I, I mean, I don't mind that, but I prefer that. Okay, put that over to one side. Right. I think I might, um, how far are we? 20 minutes. All right, I might do another quick one. Okay, what I'm going to do is do a swipe of those thin colors. So. Put these down. Alright, so we'll grab some Selectivator and a swipe tool. You'll see how with the thin colors, it tends to sell instantly. None of this is sped up, it's all in real time. But you'll notice in between where the cells are, the black sank straight through. You haven't got the defined lines you usually would with a thicker color. Still looks really cool, but it, um, it doesn't give you the same sort of um, definition when your colours are too thin. So what we'll do is we'll give that a bit of a spin. Move those out of the way so they don't knock them everywhere. Pick the center of the spinner, which is pretty close.
Okay. What we'll do is, where's the popper? Use my finger. Doesn't matter, I'm going to scrape it anyway. So, what we have is, by using the thinner colours, you'll see already here, the cell definition's all gone. Cell activators broke straight through and disappeared. So when you leave that overnight, guaranteed the next morning, most of it will be like that, where it's all mudded. Same there. So all them colours blended together. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, but your cells all end up whacked out. So there you have blooms and swipes when your consistency is too thin. You get weird runny bits, your wonky cells and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Like all that. All right, guys, hopefully that was a help. If it was, click like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Uh, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Up next, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. So if you just click on her name in the title, it'll take you direct to her YouTube page. Um, we also have, after Christy, we've got uh, Sheldon from Shell Rock Art, awesome artist. After Sheldon, we have Britt from Britt Clayton Design. Insanely awesome, awesome. And then after Britt, we have um, Lance from Pouring Together with Lance Travis. He's hopefully back from his holiday. Fingers crossed. So, please stay on the crazy train. Enjoy your little ride with us. And... Um, Hopefully you can have some fun. All right, guys. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.